Hello everyone and welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. Today it's a bit of a rainy grey day so I thought best place to be was the craft room. Now when I was at on stage in Red Deer all of the girls that went up onto on stage and um, actually demonstrated something got a lovely card from Dawn Griffith from the home office in Utah. She was actually there at Red Deer and she gave us all a gift as we came off stage. And what she'd made with the new stamp sets and the new colours were these beautiful little thank you cards. Uh, there, there were three of the little notelets with envelopes and she'd made these I think in the Coastal Cabana. And she'd used the Abstract Impressions stamp set, which is this one. And uh, I'm going to shamelessly case her cards because I thought they were so pretty. And she'd put them in a little envelope bag and it was just such a nice treat as we came off on stage. And uh, just a nice thing to do. And I thought they would make great gifts for end of the year for teachers, bus drivers, you know, uh, your barista at the coffee shop. Just a, a pretty, pretty little gift. So I made my own and uh, as I say it's the Abstract impression stamp set and I made a set in the Grapefruit Grove, one of our new colours and I backed it with paper from the new DSP pack which is this in colour pack and all the papers are ready cut into six inch pieces um, and you'll see there's the blueberry bushel the Call Me Clover, the lovely lipstick, the Pineapple Punch and the Grapefruit Grove. And there are two designs for each of the colours. There's these dots with thin stripes and then there's larger dots with the wider stripes. And I used this isn't a sentiment from the Abstract Impressions, it's actually from an old set. I think it's Apple of My Eye, where it has some of the fruit on, like oranges and uh, pears and things. And what I did was I just punched it with a, a two inch punch, leaving some white at the side. And then this flower is from the Abstract Impressions, it's this little one here, the same as Dawn had used on here. So I've already started my next set which I'm going to show you and this time I'm using the lovely lipstick and I don't yet have a full range of things for lovely lipstick. I have the DSP that's in this ink colour pack and I have the ink pad and I have a small piece of the card from on stage because one of the cards we made had lovely lipstick as the backing. I think it was with the painted glass set. So I've got just a little bit of card. But I've already stamped three cards. So I'm just going to stamp the final one with you and then I'll be ready to uh, make my little gift bag. Ah. I've got the notelets which come pre-cut and pre-scored and the score mark is on the top so I know that's going to be the front and then I'm going to be using the flowers here. This is the main flower and these ones are just the highlights. So let's get stamping. These little ink pads are still a little bit stiff for me. They open nicely now, but they, uh, they're they still a little bit stiff. I need to use them more. I need to craft more. I think that's it. Okay, so I've got the background, the big round stamps. And I know that it's too strong to start with, so I'm just going to stamp off twice. And then I'm going to use the third generation which is a nice pretty pink. Uh, I quite like that one as a lipstick, actually. I'll get my trusty little chamois cloth. 
if that one are clean. You won't get rid of the pink staining on the photopolymer stamps, however much you try. I think unless you have bleach or something, it doesn't come off. It doesn't deter from the use of the stamps, just the aesthetics. Okay, and now I've got the little highlight pieces. And these are so easy to line up because they are the photopolymer. And this little curl on the left goes onto this flower and this little curl at the bottom goes onto that flower. And they're the two that I use to line up. There we go. Let's write this again. I've got a little bit of pink ink on my card. I must have some pink ink on my finger somewhere. Okay, now I don't need that again yet. So let's put this ink pad away. And I've done the greens on mine in Wild Wasabi. I think Dawn did hers maybe in the Old Olive or the Pear Pizzazz. I'm going to use Wild Wasabi. And this piece is the main grass or stalks. So I'll find that one. And I am going to stamp it off. So I'll just ink it up. And then I'm going to stamp it off once. So I want these ones to be a little bit lighter. There we go. Give that a little wipe. And then the highlights are going to be full strength. Just check that that's working. Yeah. You know I like to check my stamps just to see that they're all working nicely. Okay, and then last of all, I'm going to use the Memento Black to do the sentiment. And I've chosen the Thank You, the same as Dawn did on mine. And she'd done hers in the Night of Navy. Okay, I'm just going to do mine in the Memento Black. And this comes off the photopolymer stamps really nicely. I know that this one doesn't stain. And I lined up the K. Oh, just let's wipe that off. I lined up the K here in that space there. So try and do that again. There we go. I think it just fits into that little space. Okay, so that's all of the stamping for now. Oh, I tell a lie, I've got a little bit more to do. I'm going to need the pink again. Because I've already stamped my sentiment on here and I just need to put my little flower on. Let's get that pink ink open again. And this time I'm going to do the third generation. So I'll stamp off once, twice, and I'm just putting the flower at the left hand side. It will go over the writing and that's fine. That's what I want. And I'll take that one off. Pop this other one on. This one will do first generation stamping. I haven't yet worked out which way around it goes. So I've just been Putting it wherever I feel and it seems to work. Uh, there we go, I put the pink away again and then the wild wasabi. So I'm going to need this for the leaves and I'm using these pieces for the leaves, this one and this one. This one is the outline for my leaves and I'm doing that in full strength and this one is going to be my inner leaf and I'm going to do that second generation. So wherever you think you've got a space, you can do it under the flower, and throw your stamp, do it above. I'm going to do mine above today, just like that. Take that one off, find my little piece, stamp off. Then I'm just going to line this up here. It doesn't completely fill the leaves but it just gives a, a nice sort of a, an impression of the leaves being there. Okay, let's pop these 
little stamps over here so I don't lose them. And I'm just going to get my ink eraser, my little mono eraser, and let's get rid of that pink. There we go. We don't need pink on there. Okay, what's this here? Oh, piece of fluff. <laughs> I can't erase fluff. Okay, so there's our four cards all done. I'll fold those up. And then instead of putting them in the acetate box this time, I'm going to put them in a little card envelope. I've already cut a piece of the DSP and I cut it at five, I think it was five and a half. Yep, five and a half by four and a quarter. And I've put the lined piece to the outside. I've popped four little envelopes in. And let's Which one do I like best to be on the top? Um, oh, I think. The one I've just done. I'm going to put those inside here and then I'm just going to close the bag up like this and then I'm going to put a little bit of white ribbon around and to put the little sheer ribbon around like I did on the Grapefruit Grove one. Let's find a piece of ribbon. Doesn't matter if you have a little bit too much. And then for this, I'm going to just put it onto the Starburst punch. I use the large Starburst punch. I'm not going to adhere it together. I'm just going to place them together and then use my 1 16th punch to go through and make a hole and I have some white baker's twine from one of my paper pumpkin kits I think it was. I'm just going to cut that and try and thread this through that tiny weeny hole. So I just fold it over. I normally don't have any problem at all but because it's on camera I bet I can't thread it. And I poke it through either with the end of my scissors or my pokey tool. There we go. Pull it through. Just make a little loop like this. And then I'm going to leave about half an inch and I'm going to tie a knot. And that's because I like to thread my um, ribbon through that little that little half inch space we've left. And that way I know it doesn't fall off. Okay. So before I wrap this around the outside of the cello bag, I'm going to thread the large ribbon through. There we go. And then I put the ribbon all the way around. And I'm going to tie a knot at the left hand side. You could tie a bow, um, make this as pretty as you want, but I only want to tie a knot. And I'm trying to keep it quite tight. Okay. okay, and then I'm just going to cut these at an angle. slide this along a little bit and I'm going to cut some of the ends off this white baker's twine and you can if you want it to stay secure you could put a little glue dot underneath but I'm just going to move mine over I don't mind that it will make its way across the card and then I've got my share what you love little pearls I used the orange one on the last set and I don't know if I'm going to use the pink or the yellow so let's have a look Pink blends in really nicely. Let's see. No, I like the yellow one. There we go. So there we are. Just a nice little set. Here's my other set. And then let's find the master's work. 
Here's Dawn's set, which, as I say, I shamelessly cased, but I just loved. There we go. So, I hope you'll agree, a, a very quick little card to make and a pretty set to give out. And the notelets, because they're already scored and cut and come with their envelopes, it's really quick to make them. You don't have to cut much. You don't have to be working out which envelope you're going to use. And the only thing I actually cut was the background paper on my trimmer and these two little pieces of card for the sentiment and for the little hang tag. So there we go. Thanks again for joining me. If you like the video, please subscribe and then you'll be notified of all my new videos. Thanks so much. Bye bye.